Today I'm ranking every Mario Odyssey capture if it was real and I was stuck as it forever. Oh, how I dream to one day be a frog. He just looks magical. You can hop around without a care in the world and jump super high and swim around in your own little pond forever. Heck yeah, man. I mean, there's not much else to say about being a frog. It's freaking epic. It's, it's a frog. I feel like in life, I actually aspire to want to have a simple life like a frog. So the frog is obviously going to be S tier. Hmm. It's not, it's not as good as a frog. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever want to be a Goomba. You're like made to hate Goombas because they're stinky and they suck. At least this one can fly. So it's a little bit better, but like a little bit better than the worst is still pretty close to being the worst. I mean, you still get to fly and that sounds like a lot of fun. I don't really want to be a Goomba, but I guess I'll put it in C. This looks like a horrible time being stuck as a spark of electricity forever and like, look at Mario's face. He looks so unhappy. Spend the rest of my life going down the same power line over and over. Definitely worse than the Goomba. You can only move a little bit back and forth. That's all you can do forever. I guess you can like see things pretty far with binoculars, but other than that, would you want to be binoculars for the rest of your life? I guess you could examine your surrounding areas up close, but you can't really do anything or go anywhere. You're just binoculars. Binoculars. <laughs> Being a T-Rex would be awesome, but you get really tiny arms. You're also massive and you smash everything you saw in the thumbnail, but imagine if you're at the grocery store just trying to buy groceries as a T-Rex. Wouldn't work out very well. Not to mention, everybody would probably be terrified of you. <laughs> I need perfect sized arms to pet cats. And I cannot pet cats as a T-Rex. I mean, I can't pet cats, but I get to smash things. And get to run around, be crazy, cause mass destruction and let all my frustrations out. I don't think it's terrible and I don't think it's great. I think it's going in B. What the heck, man? I just said I need something to have proper arms to pet cats and then this fella's got no arms at all. Chain chomp? Might as well call him stuck to a chain fella. What? <laughs> I'm so stupid. His name literally has chain in it. He pretty much is called stuck to a chain fella. What the heck? I don't know about you, but I don't want to be a stuck to a chain fella. This must be some kind of joke. This is just a paragoomba, but worse. And you get to stack on top of other ones. Worse stacked on top of worse is still worst. I'm not going to be a stupid goomba forever. Now hear me out. You get to fly and you have arms that can pet cats. So what if you go a little too far and explode? Like who cares? We're not gonna get anything above a B other than the frog, aren't we? You can't even live as a bullet bill. You you die either way. No <laughs> It wouldn't be very good to be a cactus. <laughs> okay, this guy's pretty cool. This guy's pretty chill. Yeah. He's got some sunglasses. He's got a got little earrings going on. He can see things others cannot see with his cool designer glasses. That's not too bad. That seems pretty peaceful. As long as you don't fall off a cliff like I did. Yeah, not bad. I'm gonna say A. Yes! What do I even say about this? You're a, you're a mini rocket. I don't know. You're, you're a rocket. You're not really anything. You're just, you just pew. You just go. I'm not mad at it. Um... I really don't know. It's just gonna go in F. <laughs> oh, heck yeah, gliding lizard fella. That's awesome. You just glide around wherever you feel like. You have arms for petting cats. You look kind of cute. I haven't mentioned this before, but I think my fiance would have left me if I became most of these things, but maybe she would stay if I was a gliding lizard fella. Maybe, just. Maybe. I mean, if I had to be one of these things, I think this is this is going up there. What is up with me and reptiles, amphibians, lizards, and all that kind of stuff? I think I like lizards. 
Is Game Game Grove secretly a reptile? That's really funny considering my next video is about Minecraft Godzilla. Here's a sneak peek. Whoa. <laughs> Subscribe so you can see when that video comes out. This is this poor man's hand. Give this man his hand back. You better give him his hand back right now. Bigger bill, bigger destruction. Bigger destruction, bigger explosion. There are only two things you can do as a boulder. Thing number one is be a boulder, and thing number two is scare lizards. I'm a reptile person, so I would never want to scare a lizard. I do want a peaceful life. It'd be pretty peaceful to be a rock in the middle of a forest with some lizards next to you. It's better than F. A coin purse money frog that can spit out money. At first I was thinking, that would suck to have to waste your money by spitting it out, but I think that would be an awesome way to pay for something like, hello sir, you're here to pay for this burger. Bow, have a dollar. <laughs> you know what, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Mmm, it doesn't have any arms. It's gonna have to go and be. Dang it, there's always a catch. Okay, you could be a turtle that throws fire. It's pretty humanoid, so I could see it being kind of similar to how it is to have a life as a human. I don't think that's bad, really, and you get fire powers. Things seem to be turning around. I'm actually gonna put that S tier because it's pretty similar to being a human. Isn't it terrible that S tier is things that are similar to humans? I want to be like a human. <laughs> what? What am I saying? Oh, there's a tree. I'm, I'm drinking coffee. That's some pretty good coffee. Oh my god, is that a tank? Was that a bit funny? Uh, click, click on the screen 0 to 10. How funny that was. I promise that works. Okay, you get to drive around, blast things. You shoot like confetti balls so you can bring the party wherever you go. That's pretty cool. I could get behind being a tank. You don't have arms though, so obviously it's going in A. It'd be pretty cool to be an onion fella, have really stretchy legs, and be an onion. It's not as bad as being a Goomba, am I right? You probably already know this, but I do not want to stay as something that sits in one position forever. That, it just gives me anxiety. I hate that. Oh yeah, and you spit poison. I don't know if I'd ever really want to spit poison. No thank you, I do not want to be stuck in one spot forever. You know, being a fish is not as bad as some of the other things. You can swim around and it seems nice and peaceful and calm and like a pretty good life. You get nasty, ugly lips, but hey, you're not a bullet that explodes. It's not amazing. It's not awful. I think it's B. All right, a big piece of rock. And I'm gonna be honest, when I was recording the footage, I actually was trying to solve this puzzle, and I have no idea how I ended up solving the puzzle before, because I probably recorded for 20 minutes trying to solve this puzzle, and I actually couldn't. I think I got stupid. I, what am I even supposed to say about that? It's just stupid. It's just a big old chunk of rock. But then again, this is literally a rock, and it's in C, but then this... You know, I'm gonna put it up here. I, I gotta be consistent. Yeah, because you know me, always so consistent with my rankings. <laughs> Lakitu just makes me so happy. You get to be a guy floating on a cloud, fishing in a little pond. That's just so awesome. You got arms. You probably can get out of the cloud and go and do other things if you want to, but just a fella fishing. I know some of you have already commented, why does he always keep saying things about arms? What do arms have to do with it? You can be stuck like that forever. You want to be stuck forever without arms? That does not sound like a very good time. Think about it. It's logical. I would love to be Lakitu. I don't order these like the front is the best, but I'm going to put Lakitu in the front. It's only going up. The next one's going to be really good, I bet. Oh, it's a zipper. Yeah, that's great. No, it's not. I really shouldn't have said it was going to be better than Lakitu. <laughs> you know what? This one might be the worst one because you are stuck to a confined area. But if you go through the whole zipper, you just kill yourself. What the freak? That sucks. Get to be a little cute 
picture of a Goomba. I actually did try and create the Goomba as good as I could, and I didn't do too bad. Kind of really stupid. You're just a picture of a Goomba. I'm gonna put it in F. We got a big ol' F tier this time. Oh, you get to be funny and colorful and stretchy. This is definitely another one of those where it's not as bad as some of the other ones. So it's just kind of right in the middle. It's a B. Actually, you know what? You do kind of have like arms and legs and you can move around. So I'm going to put in A. It's honestly something kind of scary about a giant letter running around. This is another inanimate object and it's just so weird. I'm going to have to put it in C. You know what I said about inanimate objects being weird? a pole you can like spin around though that's kind of funny okay this one's really weird because you're technically an rc car but you're really just a person and so would being a person be worse or better than the other ones man this is so difficult because on one hand this could be f because being a human could be the worst thing on the list but also this can be an s tier because i don't want to change i just want to be a human I think I'm going to put it as S. And I know some of you will be saying they're not actually humans, but I'm just going to pretend that they are human. So I think it would be S tier to be a human, because what if you had to be a picture match Goomba part? You know what I mean? I think I found an F tier. <laughs> Why is everything in the Metro Kingdom an inanimate object? Are they just playing prop hunt in New York? Yeah, this one's definitely F tier. What the heck? I didn't rate the poll. See? Why didn't I rate the poll? Did I really become stupid like I said earlier? It would be kind of fun to be a car. You can vroom vroom drive around. This is so weird, but... B? <laughs> All right, another puzzle part. Like before, this one's a battery, but this time I actually completed the puzzle really fast. So I'm smart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch, just watch, just watch. Oh, look at how smart I am. It's like the puzzle piece from the other one, but... I'm smarter. <laughs> no, I need to be correct. I'll put it where it belongs. Just because I'm smarter doesn't mean it's any better or worse. I'll be fair. This is a cheap cheap that's purple and can swim in cold water. I think it's pretty much the same as the other cheap cheap, honestly. Similar to the other cheap cheap, I'm gonna put it right next to it. Looks really fun, but dizzying to bounce around and jump around like this. It does really look like a lot of fun to do that. But truly the best part of being a Shavarian is you can do that. Yeah, look at that. Wiggling and moving and rolling around. Pretty awesome to me. It's weird because on one hand, I don't want to be a giant cloud that just blows cold air onto things. But also, it's not as bad as some of the other things. Like, you're not restricted. You can fly around wherever you want. So, in that way, it's pretty cool. It's not S tier. It's not A tier. I think it's just B tier. It'd be cool to be this little squid flying around in the water. But when you don't have water... Oh, oh, that's not very good. But flying around and swimming around in the water is so cool to have this little, like, water bubble around you all the time. That's awesome. I think I gotta put it in A. An octopus surrounded by a bubble of water and you can fly around wherever you want. Yeah, yeah, A tier. You can only capture this once. You can never recapture it. So this is just a video from YouTube of someone doing it. It's just meat. I don't wanna be a slab of meat. Someone might think I'm dinner. <laughs> this is like the fire bro, but instead of fire you have an unlimited supply of frying pans. That's kind of awesome, just like in a comedy sense. You could be somewhere and like, hey, it's a joke, throw out a frying pan. I don't know, it's funny. This is also going in S tier, but I don't know what it says about me that I think it's better to have frying pan powers than fire powers. So a piranha plant, but it's fire instead of the poison one. If you know me and you've watched my other videos, you know I'm not that big into fire and heat. So this is actually worse than the poison one for me. It's going in the same tier, but just remember, the fire one's worse. I'd hate to live a life of being lava. You can't touch anything other than lava. You can't do anything. You're just a lava bubble. That sucks. Lava bubble kinda sucks. <laughs> this dude's just a fork. <laughs> Put the fork guy in C. 
the ruined kingdom is normally like this but it technically is the first kingdom where you see the next guy this is like being a koopa but instead of having fire or frying pan powers you're just strong and you have arms that can pet cats with yeah i freaking love petting cats an inanimate object statue thingy but at least you get to move around and you have some free will, so it's better than some of the other ones. I guess it's gonna go in C as well. It's the Paragoomba, but you're a Koopa, but you're a skeleton and you're dead. And I, I don't want to be a skeleton and dead, honestly. It's worse than the Paragoomba, so it's gonna have to be F. <laughs> Pokio is freaking awesome. You can be a bird with a nose that can attack and stick into walls and... That's really cool. I mean, you can do this though, and it looks like it hurts really bad. I don't think Pokio is the best thing, but it's definitely A tier. A statue of Bowser. It's not Bowser, it's just a statue. It's exactly like the boulder and the tree and all those other ones. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it in C. <laughs> okay, now you get to be Bowser, which is freaking awesome. You get the claws, you get the spikes on the back, you get to breathe fire. I will say it's bad that you are an evil king that rules over an evil kingdom, but if you take over Bowser and you're Bowser forever, you can turn it into a good kingdom and you can be a good guy. That's the best thing out of all this stuff that we've done today. I'm gonna start the good guy Bowser arc. Bowser's gonna become Mario's best friend. This is the same thing as the Goomba one, but it's Mario. And I want you guys to see just how good I did. <laughs> it's a monster. Can someone please make fan art of this Mario and send it to the Discord? Link in the description. I'm gonna just put you right next to the Goomba. Yeah, you guys can be buddies. Okay, Yoshi definitely has to be the best one. You can run around, you can flutter jump, you can pet cats. You also have a tongue which you can use to punch robots and stuff. Not to mention you can use your tongue to grab things, you can use it to attach yourself to stuff, and for some reason Yoshi can hang on walls in this game, so that's pretty cool. The last ranking, and it's number one, I'm even gonna put it in the front, Yoshi's the best one! Yes! What a good ending! Thanks so much for watching, if you want to watch another tier list video, I have a whole playlist that's popped up on the screen probably right now. And if you don't want to watch a tier list, there's also other thingers things that you can watch there's another video on the screen or something i don't know goodbye